So here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big. He's so strong. He's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands. He throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round. Yeah. Derek Lewis can finish you at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC. Made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> to proceed tonight. Will he go to the hands or will he go to the takedown? Remains to be seen, but clearly he believes he has a big matchup in front What a wild start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight. So far, these guys are laying it all out of the line. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. Yeah. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having a fantastic cardio.
A great takedown defense right now by the champ. Oh, he's got it back. He's got an isolated hip to try to break that lock. Breaking the lock is step number one to escape. Just over two minutes to go. Tags him with that uppercut. Awesome level change. Great timing. Looks like the referee could step in here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice. And he comes through with a big knee. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lewis. Another kick that lands. Under a minute now to go. He passes the half. There it is, now he's on the mount. Making all these shots count. Final seconds. Oh, he's got that arm in tight. You gotta be kidding me. How oh, he He just stayed Stop. calm. He's able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Nice jab there by Hamza Chimaev. Well, no problem getting inside to the oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. some of the pressure on the Von Flucho. Beautiful defense. Neil Belly postures up Neil Belly. He's raining down Brown and Brown. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Now he's going full mount. Oh. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimai. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, man, that's hard to watch, right? Targets that swollen area, and it's getting worse by the minute. We might get a stoppage here. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Tight submission locked in. Darce choke seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get excited, though. He's got to be patient. Wait and take his time. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This He's guy is so up. aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. 30 seconds to go in round two. 
So Lewis's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Incredible drama here in this fight. I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in it, given all that swelling around his eye. We'll see what the cut man can do to stop the swelling here over these 60 seconds. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Nice strike. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion 